Yo, welcome back to Van Life Customs UK. So here we are back in the workshop. We have Emma and Will's van this time. So we've got a long wheelbase in, in the workshop. So I'll show you what they've had done. So we'll go in and have a look. So we've got a long wheelbase U-shape. These uh, cushions are more cushions there now for taking photos and stuff. Um, so they've already taken the foam and hopefully they're going to bring it back with them tomorrow. So we'll start from this end. As you can see it's black. Can't see the seats. They wanted a cab curtain. So that's the first one of them I fitted. Um, yeah, I like that. Works really well. I think it's blackout. I'm sure it is blackout. So moving on, we've got a black CRX50 fridge. We have a sink. Just a sink on its own in this one. They didn't want a cooker or any gas. So we've got our standard U-shape setup. But as it's a long wheelbase, you get the extra cupboard. So we've done the same as we did in the last, I think we've done three of these now, four. This might be my fourth long wheelbase. But we've made this shelf removable. Nice big cupboard. back in like that so I've just got a uh, fresh and grey water in there and we have a new addition we have the overhead locker with a beep shelf in the middle an EDC shelf so the idea is in my video I've done a few weeks ago a friend of mine is having his van built that's the next one that comes in and uh, he asked me to build him an overhead locker with a shelf so he can pocket dump his EDC and uh, when I showed Emma and Will they liked that idea so they asked me to put one in theirs van as well so that's what we did they are now available on our eBay shop uh, if it's not one on there that you like get in contact with us and um, I can make you one so as this is long wheelbase you end up with a huge kitchen area it's massive end up with that extra bit of space there extra cupboard it's like 400 mil you gain which is loads of room in these camper vans so I'm gonna bang you just there and I'll make the bed up so, there is a knack to this I don't know if I've ever shown you the knack these two cushions you just stand out of the way I suppose I've got better at it every time I do it. Slide out, slide out. Slide out, slide out. You may notice that these are now left natural in pine um, rather than painting them. Um, mine's, mine's painted. What's my van now? Two year old. It's just starting to look a little bit tatty on the paint. Um, I'm just going to touch it up and it'll be fine. And if yours is the same, if, you, if, you know, if yours is painted, just a bit of matte black paint will just tidy it up. But from going forward, I've decided just to leave them natural. Um, I'll, I'll wax them so it stops any moisture or anything. They feel nice and smooth. Looks nice. I like seeing the little grain. So back to making the bed. Your back cushions. Chuck on there. Stand these two up. This back one, put just there. Now yeah, roll your bed slats out of the box. And put them into position to just there. So you don't full, fully fit them. Put your phone back down. Like that. Put these two cushions in your middle. Like that. And then that's that bit the bed done. Now, in my own van, I'd have a bang sheet on there. 
so I'll just get to the corner so I'll put my sheet on and then I'll finish making the bed up this end. Find you. And then put your two last cushions in. There you go, nice big bed. And it is a nice big bed. It's a good size. What I will do is just show you all the space you have underneath the bed when the bed's made up. So you can fill all that with stuff when you go to bed. Just remember to put it underneath, you know, your chairs and all the rest of it. I don't think I've ever showed that in a video. And then put it away, vice versa, exactly in the opposite direction. Chuck them two out of the way. So let's go away, chuck your cushions back down, back into the seating area. What I will show you, what I will do is take it around the back. I've made a little uh, addition to the uh, rear box. As with everything, it's evolved. Right. It still does exactly the same thing, apart from now I've put a wing on the bottom. And that now slots in to the, to the bench, so it just stops it from lifting up. Only a little thing, but it's another little detail that we've evolved to. As you can see, loads of space. Don't forget. That literally lifts right out of the way. Giving you the full run of your van. You know what, it's much easier to make this bed once you've got cushion covers on. They slot together much easier. <laughs> so they add six lights. So they're touch lights and they dim. Hold your finger on. And they didn't like that. They asked me for the cupboard with a shelf. So the idea is that if you've got stuff in your pockets at night time, when you get in bed, you can just chuck them in the in the cubby hole. And in the morning, you know where you are. It's not all over the you know all over your worktop or you know your wallet is safe, your keys, everything nice and safe. But you still got your storage for your mugs and what have you, and your drop down doors. It's a handy little cupboard, a handy little space that is. So we've got a drop down below the sink, a little bit of space in there. 120 amp hour ledger battery and that's an AGM. Well, I always fit an AGM battery over a like a lead acid, a lead, a lead acid battery. Um, you ain't got a vent them. That's probably the main, the biggest reason you don't have to put a vent out the bottom of the van. Um, and they're dry, they're not wet filled, it's like glass mat. Um, and supposedly you can run them a little bit lower than lead, lead acid.
batteries, supposedly. I don't really know. But um, yeah, they're really good. That's 120 amp hour in there. Although they have changed them and it's a bigger case this time. So it's a little bit tight, but it fits. We got them in. So we have a 20 amp mains battery charger. That works when you're plugged into the campsite. We have our consumer unit. We have a 12 volt fuse box. So we, here at Van Life Customs, we fit our electric hookup under the bonnet. Um, next to the battery. It's nice and dry. It's easy to get the cables through. Um, I prefer that position. I'm not a big fan of cutting holes in the side of the van and I certainly don't like them underneath the bumper, the rear bumper. I had one in last month and it was all corroded and I'd be on that, only been on 18 months. It was a right mess. It was all wet inside. Last thing you ought to be doing is plugging into your mains into that. So yeah, that's the reason I don't fit them under there, and I like to fit them in the bonnet out of the way. You plug them in, the lead runs under it, you know, sort of below your bonnet, and it works really well. So I hope you enjoy your van, Emma and Will. That'll keep us updated. Like I say, send us a photo of your cushions when you get them finished, um, and I'll add that into this video. And I hope you really enjoy it. Um, keep us updated. Follow us on social media. Send us some photos. Let everyone know how it gets on. That is awesome. I hope you enjoyed that update on Emma and Will's T5 and our long wheelbase, our latest long wheelbase conversion with a few new little extras. Um, yeah, brilliant. We'll catch you in the next one. Next one's a T5 short wheelbase and we'll do it all again. See you then. Bye.